What's up everybody, it's CJ here once again with Bothners. And today we're looking at some court guitars. Specifically, I've got the CR series. The CR stands for Classic Rock. And it's sort of no secret. Um, you can very much see what these are inspired by. It's a very much LP type of thing. I really think courts have done a really good job of it though. I really like the styling. I like the way they feel and I like the way they sound which is of course the three things that matter most. So today we're gonna to be checking out all the way from the CR100, which is sort of the most affordable one in the range, all the way up to the CR300, which is sort of the premium level one. Um, but I'm gonna start out strangely with the CR200, which is the one I have in my hands right now. Um, this color is really, really great. Um, this is called Flip Blue, is what they call it. And I suppose the reasoning behind that is, if you look from one angle, it's blue. You look from another angle, it's kind of green. It's got this sparkly thing. It's really, really nice. So the reason I've started here is from this point in the lineup, from the 200, there's the 250, and then the 300, things kind of stay relatively similar in terms of the construction. And what that construction is, we've got a mahogany body, mahogany neck. We've got a Jatoba fretboard, really solid wood. Um, we have a set neck, um, these sort of vintage style um, machine heads, which are really beautiful. And then, of course, your sort of classic LP style um, electronic setup in terms of one volume and tone per pickup and then your three way pickup selector. So I'm going to kind of call this 200 the sort of base of the of the premium range, because what we have over here is these Court VT59 pickups, um, which really, really are nice. They're passive. They sound great. Here's something on just a clean right down the middle. It's a beautiful sound. And then if we were to jump up the range to the CR250, the only thing that would change in the guitar is the finish on the top. You jump up to a flame maple top, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, but the rest of the construction, the pickups, electronics, everything is exactly the same. Um, and then if you jump up further to the 300, which we'll get to in a second, um, we go back to a sort of standard finish. We don't have the flame maple top but then we get a set of active EMG pickups. So as you guys have probably gathered, they are very similar. They're even quite similar in price point. So it really comes down to what you want and what's important to you in the guitar. Um, but let's start out with the CR200. Let's get some sounds. I'm gonna start with the clean as always. to a bit of a drive. Really meaty. sounding pickups um, the guitar plays great as well um, another thing to note that I didn't point out earlier is it's got this lovely binding on the neck that you get all the way from the 200 all the way up to the 300 and of course these um, these block inlays it really is beautiful all right so now I'm gonna jump over to the CR250 um, which as I explained before is almost exactly the same as this we just get that flame maple top let's check it out and we have the court CR250 so I'm sure you guys can immediately notice what I was talking about. They are very, very similar guitars. This one just has a sort of vintage vibe about it, I suppose. Um, again, this flame maple top, it really, really is nice. We've also got a pick guard on it, kind of hearkening more towards, like I was speaking about, that sort of classic LP styled thing. Um, but we have the same pickups in it, same construction, um, again with the set neck, very, very well done. Still the vintage tuners and our binding and block inlays. So considering you guys already know the basics of what's going on in this guitar, let's just jump straight into playing it.
kick to a drive. Interesting how these things go. I kind of feel like this one has a slight bit more high end. That's how these things go, I suppose. I guess this, uh, this top is having a bit of an effect. I really like it. But now let's jump to the one that makes a real difference. The next one is a CR300. And over here, they've changed out the pickups. Let's take a look at that. And here we have the CR300. So once again, things are very, very similar looking. Um, the main thing you guys will notice, I'm sure, is we now have EMG pickups in here. It's a set of active EMGs. So if you look at the back, we have a battery compartment over there. And then around front, you'll notice that we no longer have that flame maple high gloss top. We also don't have the pick guard anymore. We've got this sort of matted, still maple sort of finish over here. I really like. And of course, we have our EMGs. So of course, this guitar is going to sound rather different, especially being active. Um, I'm expecting a much higher output, that sort of thing. So uh, let's give it a whirl, starting on a clean. As I expected, much hotter sounding. Um, really beautiful guitar again. And like I was saying, guys, these three guitars that we've just looked at are very, very similar in terms of price point. Um, so it's really gonna come down to not like one being better or anything like that, like you'd expect 200, 250, 300. It really is what you prefer, what you're looking to get out of the guitar. But if we are looking at price points, Court have something else, and that is this. And here we have the super budget friendly Court CR100. So again, based on a very similar sort of thing as the rest of the lineup, they've just cut some things back just to make it a little bit more affordable for you, but they've still delivered a really great guitar. So let's look at some of the construction. Um, the body is still mahogany. They've just used sort of a thinner slab of mahogany. Um, it's a bolt on neck, um, maple neck. Again, with a Jatoba fingerboard though. We no longer have the bindings. We just have standard dot inlays instead of the blocks as well. Um, and then we just have quartz sort of um, standard humbucker set. But in terms of the electronics, all of that's the same. The functionality is the same. Honestly, it plays quite similarly as well, and it still sounds great. Um, really a lot of value for money on this guitar, I think. So if you're looking for something kind of LP styled and you're on a budget, 
seriously check out the Quartz CR100. They are very cool guitars, as I'm about to prove to you when I play it, because it sounds great. <laughs> ton of guitar for the money. So there you go guys, that's our range of core guitars. As always, I have been CJ from Buffners and we of course have these at all of our stores all across the country and on our online store at buffners.co.za. I will see you guys next time.